Boy, I'm a late night guitar hunter. This is definitely the latest I've ever made a guitar hunter video. So we are in Nashville for a few months. This is going to be an experiment more than anything. It's a Friday night now. We're going to leave. And so I have a time in which guitars will stay here, but I'm going to be in Virginia. So my thought was this is the right time to use this. You know how people always say, oh, that guitar would be a lot better when it breaks in. Um, and they say, like, well, you know, you just have to play it. you got to put 10,000 hours on a guitar before it finally sounds right. This thing, this is the real magic sauce. So this guy right here is a heavy duty, it's effectively kind of a Bluetooth speaker, but this will hang on the strings of a guitar, and then it will then run the tones that a guitar would naturally make. So, in this video, I'm going to do a couple things. Number one, I'm going to get this thing set up out of the box. I'm going to show you that. Number two, I'm going to use a guitar. I'm going to show you what that guitar sounds like before we do this for a week. And so, more on that here in a second. And then the third thing, I guess three and four. Third thing, we're going to then set this up and leave it in one of the closets here in the cabin. We're going to leave it. Now, this is heating and cooled. It's humidity controlled. It's going to be fine. I don't think anybody's going to mess with it while it's here. It's just going to be in a safe place um, for the nine days or so. So we're going to then put it in the closet. Fourth thing, we're going to come back at the end of this video, and we're going to see when I come back to Nashville, how does this thing actually sound? Does, does this thing actually work? Because these are pricey. These are a couple hundred bucks. I'll put the exact price up here. But um, oh boy, oh boy, few things are more controversial. People have said that this is a waste of time and that I'm like peddling pseudoscience by even talking about this, but I'm super excited about it. And I think that it's worth talking about because the physics and the idea seems to be right. So let's get into it. Before we do, make sure you subscribe. I'm Jeremy, I'm a guitar hunter, and I want you to have a meaningful life with guitars that help you flourish and become the best possible version of yourself. So that's the goal of this channel. If you like that message, make sure you subscribe, hit a thumbs up on this video. It tells YouTube that this is cool stuff for other guitar players like you and me. So anyway, let's get into this thing. There's a picture of what it actually does. That's cool. I didn't know that was on there. Okay, yeah, so this is a Bluetooth speaker. That was super easy. Literally just turn it on, plug it in. So that it comes with a tablet. The tablet just turns on straight onto the app that they have. And then this is, I mean, it's effectively a Bluetooth speaker with a really, really heavy um, metal housing. And so um, now we need to get the guitar, but let's see. Oh, where'd you go? So you can turn, I can turn the volume up on this. It's surprisingly loud. Playing the role of guitar is my brand new FERC. Uh, this is a Vintage 2 OM. So this is already an excellent sounding guitar. So let me go ahead and play it for you. And then that way you can... So this is already an excellent sounding guitar, but I'm one, limited by what guitars I have available to me, and two, really interested to see what it does to this guitar. So here's the thing, there's a little hook on the front of this, and so with that I'm able to hook it onto the strings of the guitar, and then it just sits on the bridge right there. So now, let me turn the volume up. I'm not going to be here for a week because it might be hard to live with. <laughs> Feel it. So I'm going to go set this up in the closet and then we'll come back in a week and see how it goes. The Lord be with us.
it has been two full weeks. So let's talk about this. A um, couple things. When I went back to Virginia and I came back, I forgot my camera battery charger. So this is my phone, but down here is the Zoom H5. Same settings, same everything, set up in the same place. And this is the FERC. Uh, now this was on in the closet. And somebody had to come up here and check something the other day. And they said that when they did, it definitely had been on the day before, but when they came up, um, it had died. So the battery had died on the device itself, which I understand I'm using this at the full most extreme version of how this thing would work. So basically I'm setting it to max volume, max intensity, all six strings, just go and go and go. I didn't plug in the power on it. So anyway, it made it about eight days. At the ninth day, it turned off. At that point, they didn't put it back on because they didn't know how to do it. They're not guitar players. So that's okay. So this thing got eight full days of full blast. And let's see if it does it sound older, more open. Uh, you know, this guitar sounded excellent when we started. So let's see how it goes. <laughs> observations does the guitar sound different it does it really genuinely does there's like a fullness to the single notes that wasn't quite there uh, a few weeks ago now with that said I'm skeptical I think part of what's going on here is that the strings are a little more dead it's also it's gone from super warm and humid to super dry and so I think this guitar just could, now it plays the same, but I think maybe the strings changed a bit. Um, I don't know, but I've tried to keep as many variables as I can the same. And overall, I've come out of this feeling like it's a cool thing. It's forced me to pay attention to my guitars in a way that I haven't before. And I'm also really excited to try certain guitars. I have some guitars that are still, for lack of a better term, boxy. My Boxwood Dreadnought is still, it's just very tight. Like you can feel it. You can feel that it's fighting against itself to be like a roaring, full-blown, loud dreadnought. It's not a dreadnought, it's a box. But that guitar, I think, will do so well. So when I go back to Virginia, just as I spend more time here in Nashville, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this thing more strategically. Now, a warning. It's pretty annoying to live with. It's just as like... Hours. It's just a, a, a moaning tone. It just sounds like that sound. Which doesn't how much sustain this guitar hits. But it's a bit annoying because it's just like that for hours. So the only way I think it would really work is if you had enough space that you could move it somewhere. And so, I mean, for me, I have a tiny studio. My studio is like nine and a half feet by 17 feet. And then my other... My house is only like a thousand square feet. So I have no place that is far enough away from me that is still climate controlled and nice that I would leave this, you know, that I would leave it on the guitar. So overall, take this for what it is. I feel like if nothing else, it's just a fun experiment. I do think the guitar is different. I think that it does something. It's really hard to quantify, but it's not pseudoscience. Like we know this to be true. And the benefits that I see are it's like having someone play your guitar 24 hours a day for weeks without fretware and without wearing out your strings. So it would seem like kind of the best situation. So like the best way to break in the engine of your guitar. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if it would, this isn't a dyno. It's not actually measuring anything, but it's giving your guitar the ability to grow and change without you. So as much as we love the idea of relics, we love guitars that look old. I think this thing actually does help it sound more broken in and um, just better. So anyway, so thanks to Dr. Herringbone for sponsoring this video. Thanks for letting me have uh, the tone turner itself. And uh, I'm very thankful for it. I'm going to continue to put it to use. Tell me in the comments below if you think this is total baloney or if you think that this is absolutely gospel truth that your guitars could sound absolutely different.